Hi, my name is Karen and I am the Art Therapist at Challenge and today we're going to be working with mistakes. We all know that feeling where we're painting and we do a mark on the page and we go, oh, I really don't like that, I'm going to have to throw it away and start again. Well, today we're going to be working with those mistakes and we're actually going to even make mistakes so that we can turn them into something else because in life nothing is perfect and it's nice to know that we can also use those imperfections and feel good about that. So this is a really quick, easy activity, but it's really satisfying and a lot of fun. You have to use your imagination, you have to think a little bit differently. So let me show you what we need today. So today we're going to need some paper. We're going to use some brushes, some water for our paint. Now I'm going to use watercolor paints because I really love watercolor paints. But if you just have normal paint, I would just water that down a little bit. And what I want you to do first is take a deep breath in and out. <sighs> I like to do that before I start because it helps me to really get into the moment. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, let's make some mistakes on the page. So the way that I like to do this is get your brush, put some water on it, find a color that you like. I might start with this beautiful orangey color. And all we're going to do is do some splotches. And you can do them all different sizes. Now I'm going to choose a different color and I'm going to do a bit of blending. You might want to do some little shapes around just with this color as well. Beautiful. And that's all you need to do at this point. So as long as you have a page full of splotches and full of mistakes, that's exactly what we want. So I'm gonna put that aside and let it dry. And what I'm gonna do is grab another sheet of paper and I'm gonna do some more splotches of different shapes and sizes. So I have three different paintings now. I'm going to let those dry and I'm going to come back to them in a second. So while we're waiting for those ones to dry, I had another idea for something else. I found a couple of little containers. So this one is a lid of a water bottle and this one is just a little container that used to have some clay in it. And I'm going to use those to make some shapes. So get your paintbrush and find a color. And I'm going to really carefully paint the outside of this. And then do some little shapes. And for some of them, I kind of just want to paint them in a little bit. But not perfectly. I think that's the trick to it. So let's do this kind of messily. And 
and I might try some different colors as well. Maybe some red again, I really like that. Adding that in. And I might even try this green. And I kind of like these little speckles I made, so I'm gonna try and make some of those with some yellow. Okay, so I'm gonna let that one dry as well. So as you can see, this one, my first one, has pretty much dried, so that's perfect. So what you will need for this next step is just a permanent marker or a pen. Look at your drawing and see if you can figure out what each of those little splotches looks like. They definitely will tell a story and we just got to figure out what that story is going to be. So as I look at mine, I'm almost thinking they look a little bit like crabs. And now what you're going to do is just use the pen and draw it back into your painting, into your mistake painting and create a new story out of it. Okay, so you can watch how I do it. There we go, that's my first one, it's a little crab. You know, you just make it up as you go. Just do what feels right for you and they're all gonna look a little bit silly and strange, but that's the joy of it. Awesome, I think I'm gonna leave that one there. It's a little beach scene and I just love it. It really forces you to think really creatively, use your imagination to kind of see what the shapes look like. So let's try another one. I can really see some whales here. So let's see how I go with doing that. I love doing that one, that was really fun. And the trick to it is not to get too caught up in making the perfect picture. Let's go on to my third one, which is the yellow and green one. Let's see what I can do with that. I am super pleased with that one. That is full of cars and buses and all things outdoorsy. I really like that. And I just have one more to do, which is this one. Now, when I look at this one, I kind of think of um, something in space, like out of space. So that's what I'm gonna turn this one into.
Amazing, have a look at that. So it's full of planets and stars and there's a little rocket ship here. I mean, there's so many things you can turn these into and there's so much fun because there are already mistakes. So if you make another mistake, that's awesome. It'll just add to the picture. This is your painting of mistakes. So you will draw differently to how I draw, but that's fine. There's no right or wrong in doing this and everyone will have their own style of doing this. But enjoy making your mistakes and turning them into something different. I'll see you later. Bye.